Hi guys, welcome back to my channel with yet another video and today we are going to be talking about the most important beauty topics, sunscreens. Now why I decided to do this topic today is because I realized that so many of us just pick off just about any sunscreen off the shelf and just assume it's going to be the right fit and it's going to be giving us complete protection. With that in mind, I thought that we all need to be educated about the types of sunscreens and how exactly they work. So if you like these kind of videos, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit on the like and share button and let's take a deep dive in 5 seconds. Now guys, most of us are mostly aware between the differences of a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen. But just to briefly reiterate, now chemical sunscreens absorb into the skin and then absorb the UV rays. It converts these rays into heat and then releases them from the body. Physical sunscreen on the other hand sits on top of the skin and reflects the sun's rays. The minerals titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are the main active ingredients in physical sunblocks. So how exactly does sunscreen work to protect our skin? Now there are two types of UV radiation that can affect your skin. Longer UV rays which are called UVA rays and the shorter rays which are called the UVB rays. Now the UVB exposure causes redness or burning while the UVA exposure causes darkening or pigmentation of the skin. Now the more sophisticated sunscreen formulations that I will talk about today also protects us from the harmful blue HEV lights emitted via our mobile phones and computers and the sunscreen also protect us from pollution as well as help minimize the damage caused by infrared radiation. Yes, all these are really high-end medical grade sunscreens that I will be talking about today. Now the other thing to take note is of the fact that age, skin tone, climate and time of the year affects your skin's photosensitivity. Now to determine how long your sunscreen will work, you have to understand its SPF rating which is also called the sun protection factor. Now the chemical sunscreens available include ingredients like avobenzone and oxybenzone. Now the downside of the chemical sunscreen is that chemical sunscreen transform UV rays into heat and this heat can in turn increase redness, irritation, especially for uh, skins that are struggling with rosacea as well as skin irritation. Now the chemical sunscreens are also notorious for clogging pores which can in turn cause breakouts which is more frequent in oily skin. So with all that into consideration we need to look for physical rather than chemical sunscreens. Primarily because sunscreens that count zinc oxide and titanium oxide as their active ingredients offer the protection you need without subjecting your skin to any of the harsh side effects that we've already discussed. Coming back to SPF. Now, in order to determine how long your sunscreen will work, we have to understand its SPF rating, which is also called the sun protection factor. Now, SPF is a measure of the sunscreen's ability to protect your skin from UVB rays. So the basic calculation works something like this. If it takes one minute for your unprotected skin to start turning red in the sun, using an SPF 15 sunscreen theoretically will prevent reddening 15 times longer. Yes, that's how the math works. So for example, say you purchase an SPF 30 sunscreen, if it typically takes 10 minutes until your skin starts to burn, by using the SPF 30, you theoretically protect it from the sun for 300 minutes or let's say 5 hours. Now we have to understand that SPF however only protects against UVB rays. Those are the rays that are causing the reddening or surface burns. SPF doesn't account for UVA rays. 
Those are the rays that cause long-term damage, including premature aging or aging, as well as wrinkles. Now, an average person, I would say, is safe using an SPF 30 sunscreen as long as that they are applying enough and that they are reapplying their sunscreen frequently. Now, let's talk about what exactly is a broad spectrum sunscreen. Broad spectrum sunscreen, which is also known as a full spectrum sunscreen, it protects against both UVA as well as UVB rays. And frankly, it's a must. I mean, it goes without saying. So in order for a sunscreen to be considered broad spectrum, its UVA protection must be proportionate to its UVB protection. Now let's talk about PA rating. What exactly is PA rating? Now essentially what the PA rating system is a measure of the level of protection from the UVA rays, which are known to cause pigment darkening in the skin as we already discussed. Now it measures the amount of time a product would protect your skin from causing darkening or pigmentation. Now the box inserted here will show the PA rating corresponding to the duration of UVA protection you can get. So now that we have covered the basic aspects you need to understand before purchasing a sunscreen, let's look at a few of my favorite sunscreens that I have researched and used over the years and I find them to be the latest in technology while being safe and offering all the protective factors that we have just discussed. Moreover, all the sunscreens that I would be recommending today are all medical grade quality and thereby all of them prove to be extremely efficacious. Now the first on the list and among my top favourites is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield SPF 50 by Color Science. Now this sunscreen is your tinted sunscreen that offers complete protection from environmental aggressors in a weightless texture that blends invisibly into all skin tones. It utilizes their Enviro screen technology with patented active ingredients, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide that create a barrier preventing free radical formation and oxidative stress. Now this sunscreen comes in three shades I use the original because I feel it works perfectly for my skin tone. And the other thing is that this sunscreen will dry clearer and it will leave no white cast residue on the skin. Now this formula is also non-comedogenic and hypoallergenic. Moreover, it's free from parabens, oils, phthalates, uh, synthetic fragrances, mineral oils and all the other ingredients that you do not want to be putting on your skin at all. Now the primary feature of this particular sunscreen includes the fact that it offers an SPF of 50 for UVB protection. It offers a PA triple plus rating for UVA protection which is quite high on the chart which means it will protect you anywhere between 40 to 80 minutes which is great and of course you'll have to reapply it. Moreover it is water resistant for 40 minutes. Its main ingredient is zinc oxide at 12% along with iron oxides that help protect the skin from damage and photoaging caused by the blue HEV lights which is emitted from your laptops, your mobile phones and all the other devices. And not just that, it also contains an array of other antioxidants like niacinamide, which is absolutely a star ingredient in any skincare product. So that even provides that extra bonus and that extra protective layer. It's also the hands down, the best sunscreen in the market right now, especially when it comes to medical grade skincare. Now guys, the second one on the list is the Tiso Mineral Sunscreen. Now this formula is also next level and I reach out for the sunscreen when I need more of a matte finish uh, and it just gives you that beautiful matte finish. Now the Tiso Sunscreen has both the tinted and the non-tinted formulations. I like the Tiso 3 Tinted Matte Finish Sunscreen. Now this particular sunscreen contains the active ingredients titanium dioxide at 8% and zinc oxide at 3.8%. It will layer invisibly under makeup and it will just replace your foundation primer. Now the next one 
is also from one of my favorite brands. It's called Revision Skin Care and it is the Inteni Shade True Physical Anti-Aging Tinted Daily Moisturizer with 100% mineral sunscreen. Now I would use this during the more dry winter weathers uh, because it's a moisturizer along with the sunscreen so it's a two-in-one formula. And moreover, it's your oil-free daily anti-aging moisturizer with a sunscreen. And I would say this product will help to correct, protect, conceal, brighten and hydrate the skin with clinically proven results. This product, it has a blend of three peptides, uh, botanical extracts and antioxidants, which will help prevent the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, as well as make the skin appear firmer and lifted while providing antioxidant benefits. And you must listen to this, all this with an all mineral technology, no chemicals in there. Moreover, it's a broad spectrum UV protection and it is formulated without parabens, alcohol, or any kind of artificial fragrances. Now, all these sunscreens that I've mentioned are also meant for sensitive skins. Now, the key features of this particular sunscreen include the fact that it uh, protects you from both UVA and UVB radiation, as well as it helps reduce photoaging. Now, it has a broad spectrum of SPF 45 and it's available in three shades the original matte and the true physical i use the true physical formula now this particular sunscreen is ideal for all skin types especially for sensitive skin and i would also like to add that it's chock-a-block with so many antioxidants including a stable form of vitamin c which is called the thd ascorbate and a blend of peptides and an array of other botanical extracts. So it's all good for your skin ingredients along with the protection that you would be looking for in a medical grade sunscreen. So yeah guys, those are my three top sunscreens that I would recommend, especially for people who are prone to acne or who have more sensitive skin or who are just looking to invest in a really good uh, skincare brand uh, that also offers great sunscreen formulations. So yeah guys, let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these sunscreens or if you have a favorite product which is similar to these and I would love to hear your feedback for this. Alright guys, so that's a wrap for today's video and I hope to see you very very soon again in my next video. Till then, keep smiling, stay safe. Bye guys.